Hello everybody, this is uh, Raymond de Bidencio and welcome to the uh, church and uh, branch of the library in Barnet which has been uh, shut down, relocated and um, well, due to the cuts from the Tories. Okay, so uh, there might be uh, an EU elections happening in the next month or so because of the fact that um, the clock has been run down and uh, well, Brexit is not happening. So we shall see what actually uh, will be ha happening, whether there's going to be an election or we're uh, just uh, getting ready for everything. In any case, my name is, uh, my name is Obi. I've always voted uh, Green since uh, 1988 and then became an, a an active member back in ooh, 2015. This is actually witnessing Carolyn Lucas being arrested in Balcombe and then Green Jenny Jones being arrested in Parliament Square when we were there as an Occupy uh, Democracy. So I uh, found out what my uh, political home was. We can't just be uh, protesting out in the streets, we have to be in the corridors of power. So now I'm running for uh, office, so hopefully this will uh, uh, happen. Okay, there's a disastrous uh, climate change happening, oncoming in about 12 years. We know, well, it's not actually, uh, we don't know what it's going to, well, the world's going to end in 12 years, but then, uh, as they say, there's going to be, we have about 12 years before we can actually, well, uh, we have to mitigate it. Otherwise, uh, it will be too late for ourselves and for our children. Our children will be the ones actually pay uh, in order to uh, make the world a better place, but by then they will, it will be an uphill struggle. Then, of course, we have uh, the neoliberal uh, body of uh, rampant capitalism. They've, it's managed to create about 8 billionaires who, have, who hoard as much wealth as uh, the 3.5 billion poorest people in the world. So, something has got to be done. I thought at the time there used to be the case of uh, 80 billionaires at by the time there's actually 50 billionaires that own as much as 3.5 billion, I thought people would be uh, getting off the posteriors and doing something about it, but nothing's really happening. They seem to think, yes, it's okay. <sighs> but in any case, what else can we do? As for my ma personal manifesto, what I would like to actually achieve is, uh, well, stopping Brexit and staying in the EU because that's the only way I believe that we can actually uh, mitigate the, uh, the disas disastrous climate change happening to us and to also we need to actually fight back against the corporations and the only way we can do that would be through the EU. It's the biggest uh, trading bloc in the world, 500 million people. As a country of uh, 65 million, we're not actually in the big, uh, the big players, no matter what some people would actually tell you. There is no way that the UK can force the rest of the world uh, to, I don't know, to actually uh, to become carbon neutral, that it needs a body like the EU to do this. And also uh, the EU is imperfect, but uh, we have to work with what we have. Okay, second time, it's actually arms trade to one million climate jobs. According to the charity Save the Children, 100,000 babies are killed because of uh, the, uh, the British involvement in uh, selling weapons of, of mass murder. We're actually the second biggest uh, sellers of uh, weapons in the world. But then, of course, it's not actually, it's not that much published in the media. September 2019, the DSEI will be happening again. It's actually, um, I call it a, a murder festival that happens every two years in the Excel. You don't, you hardly see about, hear about it in the, uh, in the BBC. They don't want to actually ha to have it published. But that is something. It should be the case of we uh, the same skills that are needed for the arms trade or weapons manufacture is the same thing that they would need to uh, create one million climate jobs. We need a uh, green new deal. We need uh, we need uh, solar panels. We need uh, wind farms, offshore wind farms, in order to actually. Uh, uh, get rid of every of the fossil fuel uh, uh, plants that we have. Second one, human rights. Recent events, uh, the hostile environment, the wind rush, um, a young woman who was actually groomed by, uh, by a cult has had her uh, passport citizenship revoked. That has actually reduced people like me into second-class citizens. That means that 
the government, if they wanted to, could just remove our citizenship from us. That is not justified. And I will be fighting that. And I want to also fight for the people who are the refugees who actually are being treated like, um, I don't know, like a subhuman. They should be treated with the same respect as we would want to be treated if we, if we do become refugees. The second, the fourth one is actually I want to campaign for an ecocide law. We need this. Um, after the Second World War, they wanted to make eco ecocide to be um, a crime against humanity. But of course, the United States and the corporations didn't want to do it that way because they wanted to carry on destroying the environment for their profit. So that's what we want to campaign with. If you want to find out more about ecocide, please uh, internet search ecocide and also a good name to uh, search for is uh, Polly Higgins. Okay, the fifth one is a campaign for the, an EU universal basic income. They're saying that there's, who's going to pay for it? There's the land value tax. Some estimates uh, say that a land value tax in the UK would um, raise something like 200 billion pounds. Another thing is the uh, corporate welfare. It's 93 billion pounds per year. It actually exceeds that. That is something uh, else. So that's 293 billion pounds. Then you look at all the, um, uh, the tax dodging happening with companies like uh, Google or Starbucks or Vodafone. We have enough money in this country to ensure that nobody is uh, homeless, uh, nobody is uh, uh, dying from hunger, but unfortunately it's very profitable to keep people poor. Anyway, again this is Obi, my, uh, Raymond Obedensha of the Barney Green Party and I am actually, I want to stand for you in the European elections in the London constituency. Thank you so much, uh, peace out and please subscribe, this is actually uh, going to be uploaded to the Occupy News Network channel but please I will be putting down all my details, Facebook and you um, and Twitter on how to contact me. Thank you. Peace out.